Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get an Infinity QX4 key replacement in case you lost all your keys or just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over the estimated cost, type of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Of course, if you need any help, you can contact us 24-7 uh, and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. So, Infinity QX4 has two types of keys. One is a transponder key and one is a non-transponder key. Let's go over them. Between 1999 and 2004, we have a transponder key and like Nancy I like Ignition 02 T like Tom which needs to be coded on site with a spatial machine. For 1997 and 98, we have a non-transponder key D like dog A like an Apple 34. This is a simple metal key, no coding or security features whatsoever. Now it's time for tip number one. There are many different key fobs and transponder keys that look exactly the same. However, they have a different chip value inside them. And if you get the wrong key, you get the wrong chip. Wrong chip, and you will not be able to start the vehicle. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year make and model of your car, or the VIN number, and the type of key you add. For example, 2003 Infinity QX4. Now, let's go over uh, Infinity QX4 key replacement cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies, depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut and program it for you. Second, call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key and code it on site. And third, tow the car to the dealer. For the transponder key, you should pay online about $15 and a total uh, of $180. A locksmith should charge you about $200 for on-site service at your location and the dealer about $280. Regarding the non-transponder key cost, because this model is older than 15 years, it means that most locksmiths and dealers will not be able to access the key code to get a replacement. Therefore, they may offer you to replace the ignition instead. The estimated cost of replacing the ignition is about $250, including labor. The following is very important to remember. While some keys can be coded without a spatial machine, it is not the case here. Therefore, if you decide to buy a key online, you will have to contact either the locksmith or dealer to do it for you. You cannot do it yourself. Before we continue, a quick word about a spare set. Making an additional key when you already have a working key is much cheaper and faster. Therefore, we highly recommend getting two keys in case you lose all your keys, as the second key should cost less than half. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day, and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it, don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. For more great tips, you can read our blog post about car key replacement cost. That's it. I hope you liked this video. I would really appreciate if you can comment below to help other people and uh, tell us how much you paid. 
And of course, if you need help, just give us a call. Thank you very much.